Ah, RimWorld Biotech. The DLC that now allows you to create your own xenotypes, grow children, and use them to commit horrific war crimes. All while polluting the earth with your army of robots whose sole purpose is to harvest your endless drug fields which you can apparently grow in a polluted wasteland. And that, folks, is exactly what this video is about. Setting up a tea plantation in a polluted hellhole. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't really changed. So the first thing we're going to do is head directly over here and build a beautiful 7x7 seven seven house. Now, I'll be completely honest. My uh, method of being able to expand this colony is through breeding. Because uh, every other race, aside from better wasters and wasters, will not be able to live, on it, live here. I know this seems a little bit late, but we're building a wind turbine as our main power source to start with. <laughs> We need to build a mech recharging station because obviously we need our mechs to re be able to recharge. And then we also need to build this so we can actually uh, build some more mechs. With the growing zones in polluted soil, all you can grow is toxic potatoes and psychoid. So that's perfect for us. All right, with our mech gestator here, we can now build some of these agricultural bots. I actually, I also love the fact that we have this tiny piece of non-polluted soil right next to us for the sole reason that this little bit of land can be used to grow. Grow hill root. <laughs> Okay, I've just realized that Emma has a husband and I don't know how I feel about that because I'm not going to lie and this sounds terrible, but Emma's main role was just to be a breeding machine. Olaf is our main boy here, uh, but Emma was meant to be just there so she could pump out kids for us. All right, our new bot is ready. Ah, uh, yeah, we need to, uh, before we can build another one though, we need to uh, extract all the waste out of it. And like any good modern civilization, we're just going to dump it in the sea. <laughs> As you can see, our little agricultural bot's going. Look at him go. He's plying the hill route. Oh, here we go. First raid by the pollution slickers, actually. Does that mean this guy's a waster? Oh, he is a waster. Oh, that's really good. If we can actually capture that guy, that'd be really, really good. Come on, shoot the bastard. Come on. <laughs> No! When I said shoot him, I didn't mean kill him. Ugh. Okay, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. That's okay. Bad news though, we have our second agricultural mech. It'll be, it'll be rude if we didn't put him to work growing more drugs for us. Tell you what is really nice about this mechanist start. You start out with microelectronics as well. Which means you can just dump down a high-tech research bench straight away. All right, screw up. This has been going on for too long. Just try and romance him. I don't care if Emma's already in a relationship. It's a 20% chance I'll take it. Yeah, come on! Emma's having an affair. That's what I want to see. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, a waster just had a transport crash as well. Right in the middle of my colony. That's... That's really good. Thanks, Randy. This guy isn't actually too bad. Oh, now Wanderer wants to join us. Uh, sure, I guess. He is a dirt mole, which is unfortunate. But he has come with a face mask, which does admittedly give him 50% toxic environment resistance. But I don't think he's going to last very long. We'll just rename this person to gonna die soon. There we go. That's a fitting name for what's a... <laughs> Let's be real, it's going to happen to him. For God's sake, I thought I'd get him to snort some yayo and he's already had an overdose, so he really is gonna die soon. He can't even handle a single line of yayo. He ain't gonna last he ain't gonna last in this colony. Which is probably a good thing that I'm going for um just tea. Because you know, when you've got a psychite dependency, it's probably better to just drink a little bit of spicy tea rather than, you know, uh, smoking crack. I am very disappointed in these two though. They are yet to um Emma is yet to get pregnant. Hurry up. Ah, there we go. They just needed a bit of encouragement. Well done, Emma. You are you're you are becoming useful in this colony now. Okay, gonna die soon. Turned out to be a traitor. Okay. Emma, get over there and go and stab him. You wouldn't punch a pregnant woman, especially a pregnant woman with a knife. I have to admit, though, we are 26 days in and it has been relatively peaceful. Aside from uh, the traitor and then the one raid, we've had it pretty easy so far. It makes me nervous for what Mr. Mr. Randy Random has in store for us a little later on down the line. Right, before our big harvest, what we should probably do is research growth vats. Basically, what it does is it accelerates the growth of the child at the cost of it not developing better skills. Uh, my logic is one of my genes is we have great cooking, so my kids are going to start off with eight cooking already and that's all I care about. We are literally just breeding more cooks. It sounds terrible, but we are basically just breeding children so they can cook up psychite tea for us. I'd like to reaffirm I am not a bad person. All right, here we go. Right as our first harvest is happening, we get a raid of five people. These are actually, these are actually five people with guns as well. All right, I've got a plan on how I'm going to beat them. Gather all the mechs. We're just going to have to mug them as they come through the door. Oh, they ain't going to stand a chance. Get them. Okay, it's kind of working. Next one. Next one to come through. Hey, get wrecked. 
They can't handle the robots. And just after they've killed them, they take them straight to the graveyard, aka the lake in the middle. Desperate refugee named Parrish is approaching. He's a baseliner, so there's nothing special about him. He's pretty good at intelligence, so he can just sit down on a research bench for me. All right, well, we've got an exotics goods trader here, which is fantastic because they can actually buy some of my tea. Let's make our first sale. 300 cups of psychite tea for 550. I'll take it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, em Emma's in labor. Uh, gather for childbirth. <laughs> we can just get people to join in. Oh, we can't get a prisoner to join in, but Parrish is just going to come and have a look. <laughs> Olaf is delivering the baby whilst Parrish is just sat there in the corner, just there like, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> hey! Oh, a sick childbirth. Oh, that's not good. Mild infant illness. Effects of various birth complications, which will make the baby slightly ill, but at this rate, it will recover on their own. Sorry, little baby, but uh, you're going straight into growth fat. <laughs> <laughs> Prioritize growing. Look at that. We are now uh, gr growing the baby. Blitz is finally being broken as well. So we should have him recruited any minute now. Finally. He's only been a prisoner for half the fucking game. I don't know if the... Uh, I don't think this mild infant illness is getting better inside the growth fat. Uh, don't worry about the fact that I might have accidentally been starving the child. But I feel like it's not getting better. Now, let's, 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 just, let's just take the child out, all right? Let's take the child out. Let Emma do the mum thing and look after the child until the illness is up. And then we'll... Oh, it's a grave infant illness. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. God. No. <laughs> Effects of various birth complications that are life-threatening without exceptional medical care and Glitterwell medicine. And <laughs> just threw the child on the floor. What are you doing? You're meant to be looking after the child, not throwing it on the floor. All right. Now, I guess all we have left to do is pray that the child will be okay. I don't want to sound like the pessimist here, but I'm just going to build one of those preemptive graves. Okay. Well, the baby hasn't died yet, so I must be doing something right. Okay. So, um... Yeah, we may have killed the child. In better news, we're making another mech. We've, we've got nine bandwidth now. Our little server room is doing quite well. I'm just converting all the steel that I'm finding into bad notes. All right, we've just got a slave trader rock up, which is pretty cool. Let's see what they've got for sale. Hopefully a cook. We'll take this baseliner with five cooking. Uh, we're exchanging for 700 tea. Cooking slave. There we go. Creative names as always here on this channel. <laughs> Ah, raid. <laughs> boy. Excellent work, Blitz. Now get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, he got shot to pieces. Okay, just just shoot him. Okay, that plan did not work. Okay, there we go. They're retreating. They're retreating. They're retreating. There's one positive to come out of that raid. It gave us a load of shotguns, which is uh, fantastic. And that means that when people come and raid us, they're just going to get blasted as soon as they walk through that door. What the fuck was that? Let's just, let's just run that one again, shall we? Well, okay. I mean, I think something's definitely broke there. Let's use Olaf to summon the mech threat. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that thing's a little bit terrifying. All right, my money on, is on... Uh, this is about to go very badly for me. Oh, oh, move, move. Construction bots. Construction bots, move. Oh, they're, they're, they're so dead. That's going to be a big explosion, I think. Mmm... There goes all my turrets. Emma's just been shot. Oh, fucking Christ. Jesus, get out of there. No! <laughs> Emma! <laughs> God damn, she's down. Okay, just, just come back to shooting this thing. What's this thing throwing out? Is it throwing out fuel? Oh, okay. Uh, come on. Keep shooting it. It's finally dead. My Emma. <laughs> Poor old Emma. She was pregnant as well. And she just got absolutely clapped by it. We were going to have a child. It's I am destined not to have one. Poor Olaf, man. He must be very upset. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Yeah. Okay, this is not going to be fun. All right, replace your sadness with tea. With Emma's death, the colony is now cockfest. But I don't think I can breed the better wasters anymore with Emma's death. Those two were the only better wasters. I, like I said, I think I'm destined not to have kids in this game. I, I think I think uh, the RimWorld gods are forbidding me. Or maybe my own stupidity of sending a pregnant woman to a battlefield probably wasn't the smartest of ideas. Oh, well, better news though. We can study the uh, study the signal chip now. All right, with the uh, signal chip studied, we can now research standard mech tech. Oh, piss. Really? 11 of them as well? Oh, Jesus Christ. I am so not ready for this. 
Come on. Oh, shit. They're breaking through. Come on, drones. Hold the line. Oh, the lifters are dying. All right, send the slaves in. No. Right, last resort. Last resort. Do it, Olaf. Do it. Drop the gas everywhere. No. <laughs> Run away. Let him kidnap everyone else. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Blitz is back up. Blitz is fine. Let them, let them take the slaves. They can kidnap the slaves. They were only slaves. I feel like Randy's just trying to fuck me. I, I, I haven't missed RimWorld at all. I have not missed this game. All right. It's time to do Operation uh, Prey. <laughs> Uh, what does this consist of? Well, I've got a brilliant idea on how I'm going to take these bugs out. Uh, first things first, we need to uh, bribe a nearby faction. My plan is to summon the mech threat and then have, have the big bad mechs come and fight the bugs and then call in the reinforcements that I'm going to get once I send this tea off. And then they're going to come in and clear out the mechs. And I'll do all of this from the safety of behind my walls. <laughs> Right, Olaf is calling in the mech extermination squad, which is going to rock up soon. And all these bugs will hopefully die. Patience is key. All right, the mechs have arrived. Fantastic. Here we go. Get in there, my mech brethren. Fight the bugs. Right, and whilst they're fighting, quickly run over to the console. Immediate military aid, please. And now all the boys are rocking up. Okay, so far, the mechs didn't really do a whole lot. The mechs just kind of rocked up and died. Okay, go, allies. Go. Go fight the... Uh Go fight the bugs. Okay, all my allies seem to do, have done there is run at them and then shoot their own people in the back. Oh, friendlies just rocked up. Uh, but okay, it doesn't matter. We got more friendlies. Get over there. Give me as many heavy weapon platforms as I could afford. Unfortunately, we are blowing up all of our drugs, but that's a price I'm willing to pay for victory. <laughs> These bugs are just getting absolutely mauled. Get absolutely shredded, you assholes. All right, cool. Well, excellent work. With the bugs defeated, we began the slow process of rebuilding our plantation. I love the idea of Olaf has enslaved his mother to work in the kitchen. But after a hard year of rebuilding our empire, we ran into the problem of success. But I haven't got enough cooks, so I've had to start turning some of the leaves into flake because we have so many. Turns out when pretty much the whole map is a plantation, you, you grow a lot of psychoid. <laughs>